Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to adjust the location services settings on your macOS device. Changing these settings will allow you to allow certain apps to use your, your location and also disable it on other apps that may not need to know it. This is a great way to improve your privacy if you want to turn off location for certain apps and it can also really increase productivity to have precise location on for the apps that need it. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so to adjust these settings, what you need to do is go down to System Settings and open that up. Then we'll scroll down the left hand side and go to Privacy and Security. So, uh, sort of in this section here, you'll see Privacy and Security. When you click on that, it'll be the top option here which says Location Services. So we'll click that. And here it will show all the apps that you have either allowed or not allowed to use your location on your Mac. So you can see here, I don't use this user much. This is dedicated for recording. So there's not too many apps here that have requested it. But if this is your main user, you might have pages and pages of apps that show up here. Now, I'm going to use a bit of an example here, but I can just turn on or off certain settings. Now, it will require a password. So to turn it on, I can unlock it and turn that on or to turn it back off, you can do so. So I can do the same thing for Chrome, turn on and off reminders, see in dictation and also system services, such as all these things here. So location-based alerts, find my Mac, Mac analytics, and much more. So that all allows you to adjust those settings. And then you'll also have about location services and privacy. Talks you, to you about um, Apple's privacy uh, settings and the way they manage your data and all this sort of stuff there. You can find out more at apple.com slash privacy if you'd like to read about that. But what I'm going to use as an example here is we're going to go into Google Chrome. And um, we'll just click got it on that here. And I'm going to go to maps.google.com. So this is going to be a little example here. Um, as this doesn't have my location, because you can see in the site settings, location is on ask by default. Um, it's just putting me in a random spot in Sydney. Um, now, let's say I wanted directions on how to get to Brisbane in Queensland. So I click that. It's going to take me over to Brisbane. Uh, and then I click directions. And at the moment, it's showing me where I'm going to arrive at. But I need a starting point. Now, I can click my location here. But what it's going to ask me in Chrome is... It's going to say www.google.com wants to know your location. I can either allow or block that. If I allow that, it'll allow uh, precise location. If I block it, it won't. And you can see down the bottom, it says your precise location could not be determined um, because I haven't put an input in here yet. And I'm just going to block that for now. It'll say not allowed up here in Chrome. And <clears throat> I can either reset the permission or turn it on there if I'd like to but at the moment that won't work so I'll need to manually input the address that I want to um, go in there from now if I so that's a little example there and then I can just turn it back on in um, system settings and if that's something that um, I want it just to allow by default I can turn it on here if I would like to and I can also just turn off location services uh, all together on this Mac, but it will give you a warning saying turning off location services will prevent you from locating this Mac with Find My Mac. Click turn off to d disable location services and remove this Mac from Find My Mac. So if you really want to do that and just turn off location for absolutely everything, you can do that, but it won't show up in the Find My Network anymore if you do so. I'm just going to click cancel for now on that, um, just because I still want it to show up in Find My Mac, but um, that's pretty much it to changing the location services settings on your Mac. Um, hopefully this was nice and simple and you've had some good success in doing this. And hopefully the little example I gave sort of, um, helps to give an understanding of what these settings actually change and, um, how it can be helpful in those sorts of situations. 
So yeah, thanks for watching this video on Unpacked Technologies. Let me know in the comments below if you've got any other video suggestions for me because I'm more than happy to make those if you would like to see them. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.